I don't know if you saw it, Carrie, but they were lamenting you going pro MAGA like <laughs> it was a descent into the KKK. You know, like, oh, sadly, geez. we think it's real. You know, unfortunately, she got sent down the rabbit hole when they put pressure on us to get clicks on social media. And she just became became addicted to the clicks. It can't be that you had a genuine attraction to President Trump and his messaging. It has to be you lost your mind. You know, President Trump, um, in many ways, reminds me of Ronald Reagan, the, the president of my youth. I mean, I, I grew up in the 70s and 80s. So I had Jimmy Carter. And then when I was, you know, I guess it was 10 till I graduated from high school. It was the amazing Ronald Reagan, who actually grew up in a town about an hour from my hometown, obviously a few decades apart, Megan. And Mm -hmm. so I just I I loved his policies. I loved his demeanor. I loved his ability to communicate with the people of America. And most importantly, I loved his policies that brought people together, helped us pull ourselves out of a steep recession. And um, I love the patriotism of that time. So when President Trump came on the scene, I saw something in him that I hadn't seen since Ronald Reagan. And I love his policies. I love the man that he is. He's a great human being. I've gotten to know him. I call him a, a friend, even a good friend now. And his family's amazing. The media, however, has disparaged him and tried to destroy him for seven straight years now. And it's so unfortunate. And I see what they're doing because they're doing it to me now. Mm -hmm. Here I have people who who I used to work with who are now trying to destroy me in the media. And I, I just try to rise above it. I really do, because we have something so big here in a movement, unlike they've ever seen in politics in Arizona. And we're at a very important point in our history. And I'm not just talking about in Arizona state history. I'm talking American history and human history. We are either going to, we the people, take back this country and take back our states, or we are going to forever lose this country. So I don't care about the noise on the outside. I don't care what they call me. I'm on a mission to try to save Arizona and keep it in the right, going in the right direction and save it from becoming, uh, you know, the policies that California had that destroyed that state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Arizona's I don't know. Is it getting a little bluer? You know, they've had a Democrat governor. They, you know, they had Jan Brewer and stuff. But like the concern by some on the right is that it's getting a little bluer and that you or Robeson is your main competitor to get the GOP primary nomination could very well lose to the person on the Dem side. No, I mean, no one's going to lose to Katie Hobbs. She's been twice uh, convicted in court for being a racist. She's cost us three million dollars as a state for her racist policies when she was secretary of state. She has absolutely dead end policies. If you like what you're seeing in California, uh, you'd like her policies. So no one's going to lose to her. This race will be run one (laughs) rather in the primary. And my opponent is lagging far behind us. Our internal polling, we're getting polling every week. We're 12 points up right now. They're trying to act like it's a real race between us. And what it is, is a rhino who's married to a 95-year-old billionaire trying to buy this election. Absolutely nobody likes her. Nobody's interested in her policies. They're written by the consultants, the John McCain, high-priced John McCain consultants. And she could not fill a living room if her life depended on it. We are filling arenas, we're filling stadiums, we're filling uh, places to the gills where it's standing room only. We had a a group of a thousand people a couple months ago in Tucson, which is one of our most liberal cities, who came out to see us because they like our America first policies. And we have a movement. And and she's the most unethical person I've probably met in politics. And that's saying something, Megan. Rosen, you're your GOP opponent for for the nomination. Yes. Okay, we, you know, going. we uncovered and, and it's been uncovered her ploy to try to make it look like she had grassroots support. Just wrap your head around this. It's so disgusting. She obviously has the donor class and the rhino class. And so they're making the big donations and that's who she's going to be beholden to. Well, she recognized that we had a massive movement on our hands and we had thousands upon thousands of grassroots donors donating 20, 50, 100 bucks. And she knew she was going to look terrible when she rolled out her donation. So she hired a firm to go and trick people into making donations to her. 
and they would click and it was primarily elderly people. They would click on a text message saying, help President Trump get his social media off the ground or help build the wall in Texas. And unbeknownst to them, when they clicked and made a donation for those type of of issues, they were actually making a donation to a rhino running for office in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And it was a monthly donation. She's had about 1,200 people demand refunds. These are elderly people. Our team have talked to them. They don't even know who the hell she is. Yeah, she's not Team Trump. Yeah, so to suggest, like, I mean, she obviously she's trying to parlay, like, my uh, as a Republican, my support of his policies, but she doesn't have his endorsement. You're the Trump back candidate. But the sad thing about doing a tactic like that to try to make it look like you have grassroots support and donors is that she doesn't even need the money. She's married to a billionaire who's giving her a blank check to run. And in, in order to trick the public into thinking she has grassroots support, she tricks senior citizens into donating money to her. It, mm-hmm. I, I just find that despicable. Look, I want to win this race because I care about Arizona. But if somebody told me you're going to have to swindle and steal money from Social Security, uh, you know, people on Social Security and elderly people, No, I would never do that. I'd rather lose than have to swindle senior citizens out of their money. It's disgusting. We can't have somebody who is that unethical anywhere near the governor's office. What do you make of the fact, I know you you call her a rhino, uh, but she's got a long history in, you know, conservative administrations, Reagan, I think one of the Bushes, and she just got the endorsement of the sitting governor, Doug Ducey, who came out in an interview on CNN and as you know, is not your fan. Um, well, we have a soundbite cut, so I'll let him speak for himself. <laughs> this is not your guy, as you know, but I, I'd love to give you the chance to respond to what he okay, said uh, on CNN. I can't Here wait. Yeah. Turner Taylor Robeson is the real conservative. She's the real deal. She started her career working for Ronald Reagan. She's pro-wall, pro-gun, pro-life. She's the mother of four. She's been a community leader and a successful business person. And her I- opponent, on the other hand, bears no resemblance her campaign or even her personal interactions with me to anything she's done over the past 30 years. This is all an act. Well, Carrie Lake's misleading voters with no evidence. She's been tagged by her opponents with a nickname, Fake Lake, which seems to be sticking and actually doing some damage. So that was just this weekend. Your response. Well, I I travel this state every day, all day, and he is probably the most unpopular person in the state right now. Democrats hate him. The independents hate him and the Republicans can't stand him. Uh, I'm not going to, uh, you know, sit here and trash him. But I will say I'm reading a message that he sent me the day that I resigned from my career. And by the way, I was always fair to him in my career. I interviewed him on several occasions and I was always fair to him. I took great pride in being an honest journalist. And he said, Carrie, congratulations on your great career to date. You are really one of the good guys, tough, fair, talented, and a real person. Notice he didn't say fake lake. Mm. (laughs) It's all in such short supply today, and you will be missed. If I can be helpful in any way, please ask. Excited to see what's next. Maybe Lake 2022? Uh. (laughs) You know where to find me. Which is hilarious because I hadn't even thought about ever running for office, but it was after I walked away from my career, Megan, that I put out a a video to tell the great people of Arizona why I was leaving. I didn't want them to think I was just leaving to pursue other opportunities. I was leaving because I was very disillusioned with the direction that journalism had gone. It had become propaganda. And after I put that video out, it went viral. And the amazing people of Arizona started reaching out to me in droves asking me to consider running for office. They said, we need somebody who we trust, who understands Arizona and who has integrity. And it was only after dozens upon dozens upon dozens of Arizonans reached out that I even considered it. Are you tired of feeling like someone's always watching you on the internet? Maybe advertisers know a little bit too much about you Mm -hmm. or you're concerned about the privacy of your identity. Using incognito mode will not solve the problem either. IP Vanish VPN is here to protect your right to privacy and to help you stay anonymous online. IP Vanish helps you safely browse the internet without exposing your private details to third parties. You can use IP Vanish on your computer, your tablet, your phone, even devices like your Fire Stick when you're streaming media. When you use IP Vanish, all of your data is encrypted. 
IP Vanish makes you virtually invisible online, and that's what you want to be. It's that simple. Right now, IP Vanish is offering an incredible 70% off their yearly plan for our listeners, along with a 30 day money back guarantee. That is like getting nine months for free. IP Vanish, super easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button, you are instantly protected. Take your privacy back today with the brand rated 4.6 out of 5 on Trustpilot. Go to ipvanish.com slash Megan and use that promo code Megan to claim your 70% savings. That's ipvanish.com slash M-E-G-Y-N. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.